you're going to be eaten alive if you even look at one of these monsters. And today I'm going to tell you all of the secrets of the Uptena and how to kill it if you run into one. The Uktena is a creature of Cherokee folklore, and today I'm here in an unnamed and unknown forest in what was once known as Cherokee Nation. An area is not too unlike this one is where the Native Americans once lived and sometimes lived in fear of the monster city just below the surface. Today, we'll be talking about one of those monsters. Giant serpents have existed in cultures all around the world. Just to name a few, you've got Yormangan, Kukul Khan, or Quetzalcoatl. You've got just generic sea serpents, you've got the, the, the Naga from the east, and now today you've got the Uktena. So what is the Uktena, and how can you go about killing one if you found one? Well, first, let, let's talk about the features of this creature, and then I'll tell you how a Shawnee hunter managed to kill one. See, these serpents have horns on the side of its head and in between those horns is a bright blazing bright red gem that sits in between it and it's said that if you even look at this thing even if you're at a distance if you even look at this thing you'll instantly go mad and instead of running away from the creature you'll instantly be drawn towards its mouth it'll eat you in one bite the Shawnee hunter did was he used pine cones to make circle. You lure the snake in, you close off the circle with a large branch, blocking it from leaving. He lit the entire circle on fire. It was trapped. And the Shawnee hunter jumps in and screams, freedom or death. And he killed the creature. He won his freedom. I've shown you the gemstone that sits atop this creature's head. I've expressed the danger that you could be in simply by being in the general area of this deadly serpent. I've even given you a technique used by a Shawnee hunter to beat the monster, but I haven't explained how he killed it. These horned serpents all have stripes or dots or some sort of marking on them, and if you want to know which mark to hit, then be sure to stay until the end, because along with knowing where to aim, I also have a special message for everyone at the end. What I'm about to show you, I don't want you to be worried. I'm not in any real danger. But this is how massive these creatures really were. Now this is not exactly what a new Tejna would look like, but it's a representation. Um, I'd say it's fairly accurate, aside from maybe the horns being a little small and the gym not being there. But if you ever run into something like this, whew, boy. Now before we carry on with the Utena and how to kill it, I just really want to say thank you so much to everybody that subscribes. It means it means a lot to me. So thank you to every single one of you guys. Thank you to my wife. She's been very supportive in this whole process and it really means a lot. It actually makes me feel a little bit more determined that, you know, my wife's right there with me, you know, kind of cheering me on it. It means a lot to me and I thank you. I'd also like to say thank you to Connor. He's been my cameraman. He's done a really great job and he's been pretty supportive he's had a lot of constructive criticism and without him this this whole thing would just kind of it wouldn't be pretty the spot that you want to hit is the seventh mark on its body and if you do that there's a curse that comes along with the gem and I'm actually going to get into that right now. 